finance heads of enterprises who have invested with focus on withstanding the consequences of the pandemic will be big. Finance leaders who are making strategic decisions, finance leaders who are driving change in the organizations, finance leaders who are supporting their teams to grow, finance leaders who have adopted technology to transform the finance function, finance leaders who have exhibited a very good understanding of the organizations and are drivers of sustainability. So those are the people that we speak as you see them. Speakers at this year's CFO Award also called on executives to focus on building a culture of sustainability through organizations. But for five years running the CFO Awards, I can only look forward to amazing things ahead. Now that professional accountants are actually driving the agenda of sustainability. SCC and Deloitte believe in this initiative. And when we are doing research or professional insights, we really believe in what we do. And all the past research was preparing us for times like this. So we are seeing ourselves live out what the reports were saying a couple of years ago. What is clear from the Deloitte Global CFO signals, we do a lot of research as I said, is that uncertainty is taking a toll on CFO optimism. Um, the role is difficult, you can't really see ahead, and so optimism is really dropping. So they need a lot of support, encouragement, and that resilience becomes a real challenge to, to all our CFOs. There's wider consensus that enterprises that evolve, innovate, and adapt will be well positioned to succeed where others have seen their businesses come to a halt. Accountants will have to be involved in transformation. So we need to start thinking, how do we do that? Enterprise analysts, this usually used to be for risk, risk analysts and all that, but finance people will be looked at in terms of that. Assurance providers, it's no longer the auditors and the risk managers, even CFOs will be required to do that.